The Fiesta ST is dead. Long live the Fiesta Street that's the presumed verdict, right? The Ford has been king of the pocket rockets for so long it's become a cliché. But the old ST is no more, and the new three-cylinder version won't reach showrooms until autumn 2018. Into that void screeches a new, and rather serious, hot hatch. Kanich Iwa to the Toyota Yaris GRMN. In truth, the GRMN, it stands for Gazoo Racing tuned by Meisters of the Nürburgring Dash is a small volume skunk works special, rather than a mainstream rival for the street just 600 will be made, 200 vits for Japan and 400 Yaris for the rest of the world, including 80 cars for the UK. All are already sold. However, forget the numbers, bragging rights are at stake here. And the Yaris comes with strong credentials, including a supercharged engine mechanical limited slip diff and chassis honed at the ring. If that sounds special, so is the price. At £26,295, the GRMN costs twice as much as a basic 1.0-liter Yaris, and nearly £3,000 more than the excellent Peugeot Sport 208 GDI. Has Toyota done enough to claim the hot hatch crown? When I worked at which? There were two cars we habitually recommended, the Honda Jazz and Toyota Yaris. Both were and still are, practical, reliable, easy to drive super minis that delighted our resolutely sensible readers. God knows what they'd make of this one. Decked out in what one Toyota insider describes as Gazoo Racing War Paint the GRMN channels the spirit of the Wild Yaris WRC rally car with bold black and red graphics, 17-inch BBS alloys, a tailgate spoiler and a center exit exhaust. The stickers are a no-cost delete option, but white, with a black roof is your sole choice of paint color. The Yaris is a statement of intent for the fledgling Gazoo Racing sub-brand, and as such packs a great deal of engineering into a small space. Its 1.8-liter engine uses a Magnus and Eaton supercharger and is essentially the same unit found in the Lotus LEs, albeit with an additional intercooler and engine oil cooler to ensure the famed Toyota reliability. Drive goes to the front wheels via a 6-speed manual gearbox and torsion diff. The chassis has been upgraded. Two. The GRMN rides 24mm lower on 60% stiffer springs and sax performance dampers. Body braces are fitted and the front anti-roll car is beefed up, while the brakes are grooved discs with 4-pot calipers. Want numbers? Try 212 horsepower at 6,800 revolutions per minute and 250 pounds foot of torque at 4,800 revolutions per minute. In a car weighing just 1,135 kg. That equates to 0 to 62 miles per hour in 6.4 seconds and 143 miles per hour flat out. Fuel economy and CO2 emissions are, predictably, less impressive, 37.7 miles per gallon and 170 grams slash km. At first glance, the interior of the, three-door only, GRMN looks little different to any high-spec Yaris. Witness the decent ergonomics data touchscreen media system and acres of black plastic. Look closer, though and there's the smaller steering wheel from the Toyota GT86, plus alloy pedals and bucket seats trimmed in Ultras UE- the Japanese answer to Alcantara. Oh, and lots of Gazoo Racing GR logos. Notably absent for a car of this type are any drive mode buttons. You can't switch from comfort to sport when the tarmac gets twisty, the GRMN is a one-size-fits-all experience. The body-hugging seats are set rather high, but the wheel adjusts for reach and rake, so finding a comfortable driving position isn't hard. Press the engine start button and the Yaris fires with a muted bark. It sounds purposeful and authentic, without the overblown snap-crackle-pop theatrics of some hot hatches. This bodes well. My first taste of the GRMN takes place at the Park Motor Circuit in Spain. It's a sensational track, full of tight hairpins, late apexes and high speed off camber corners. The perfect playground for a hot hatch. The engine feels slightly flat below 3000 revolutions per minute, but beyond that thrust builds swiftly to the 7000 revolutions per minute red line. Keeping it on the boil through second, third and fourth gears around park motor is easy, throttle response is instant and wonderfully linear, while the manual box feels slick and snappy. The steering doesn't have the fingertip intimacy of a Fiesta ST, or indeed a GT86, but it's lively, direct and refreshingly uncorrupted by torque steer. In slower corners you can detect the diff gamely trying to haul the front end around, 
while in faster bends the Yaris can be coaxed into tire squealing for wheel drifts. Toyota fitted semi-slick Bridgetone RE11S tires for our track session, so grip was rarely an issue, although the brakes did soften notably after a few hot laps. Otherwise, the car felt rock solid, fast, forgiving and fun. The second part of the drive was on the serpentine switchbacks that lead up to Montserrat, in the mountains above Barcelona. Now the car is shod with Bridgestone Potenza RE050 road rubber, and the challenges include overtaking lumbering tourist coaches and avoiding sheer drops. Over the speed humps that mark the start and finish of every Spanish village, the GRMN feels abruptly stiff, but its ride softens with speed. Turn in is eager and there's very little body roll, just poised, planted composure. This is no scrappy, point and square tool again, but a well sorted driver's car. Best of all, on the autopista back to the airport, the Yaris is calm, refined and relatively quiet. Like all the best pocket rockets, it's a car for Sunday and Monday mornings. One size fits all indeed. Has Toyota toppled the Fiesta SE? For my money, not quite. While the Yaris GRMN offers plenty of smiles per mile, it doesn't quite possess the effervescent joie de vivre of the Ford. Take the Fiesta out of the equation, though as we should rightly do until the new SD arrives, and the waters are muddier. The Audi S1 is markedly more upmarket and scarcely more expensive, while the Peugeot Sport 208 GTI equals the Yaris for driving thrills and undercuts it on price. The Yaris, meanwhile, counters with rarity and competition kudos. My money would go on the Peugeot, or, more realistically, a used ST, but I fully understand why someone else might choose the Yaris. There are no bad choices here. Toyota has transformed an ordinary car into an extraordinary one and the future looks rosy for the Gazoo racing brand. Can we have a GT86 GRMN next, please?